well, selected sections of the race. Tell yeah. me the story of the race from your perspective, please. Um, I mean, first lap it dwindled down to like half 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 the field. Um, it was just really hard on the crosswind section at the top, um, and it was quite. It was quite, it's, it's semi-negative, but it was like the same kind of characters like kind of lighting it up at the front. And then Richie got away halfway through on his own. I mean, Richie and Yanto got away, and then Richie got away on his own, Alex Richardson. Yeah. And then me and uh, another guy, number 94, like bridge, were bridged to him on the last lap. And I could tell that like, they were, like the other guy was like going for it quite hard, like on the hills but it, on the false flats you just didn't, it didn't have much yeah. and then it's it obviously started, yeah, yeah. And it started to really rain um, and I just I felt fine you know like but the other guys looked really cold so and then when he turned right off of off of the main course uh, I mean we got told we had like a minute and a half on on the, on the majority of the of the peloton mm -hmm. um, and as soon as we hit came right off of there I just went as hard I just I just hit him then and then, yeah, just all that, all that running then was just on my own. What happened to Alex Richardson? Did you sort of see that? Was yeah, he, with you the... yeah, he looked. Um, he just looked really cold. Uh, he looked really, really cold. And um, I think he, I saw the cars going right, and I knew it was good. I knew we had to go right, and I think, I think he presumed we had another lap to go left. So he, I just, I just saw that he was just like, you know, you know didn't really know what was going on. Um, so I just saw that hesitation and I just went as soon as possible, like as soon as, as hard as I could. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what actually happened, but um, I, just, I didn't see him again after that corner. So, And obviously this is your first race of the year, I'm guessing? Is that second. Right? Second race of the year? Yeah, we did Valencia. Oh, of course, um, Valencia, yeah, yeah. I didn't realise you were with that. Yeah. Um, how how's it, how's it uh, sort of indicate for the rest of the season? Are you um, pleased with where you're at, how you come out of the winter? Yeah, I mean... Uh, uh, for the first time ever, I've had no season, so I actually had time off the bike. Uh, I feel like, I mean, it's just cliche to say, like, you know, I'm the best position I've ever been in, blah, 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 and all that stuff. But I'm still newer to it than the majority of the lads here, so, um, I mean, it's just been in just a, such a good team, you know, like, um, and uh, I mean, I mentioned to Larry earlier that I, I don't really have any personal ambitions uh, going forward uh, this year. Just. I'm more than happy to ride for the lads, you know. Like I want to see them moving up, and I'm, you know, I'm knocking on that. I don't, I don't really see a, much of a future for me in the in in the sport unless it's with this team, really. You know, like I'll, I'll go as far as long as what Tim wants me. So, um, <laughs> get the sponsor correct. Uh... Yeah, so I um, <laughs> <laughs> drop these in the camper. Um, so yeah, like, yeah, it bodes well, you know. I get, we're going to Spain next week, so some more some more miles in the sun and then um, yeah just hopefully on to some Holland and Belgian races you know where the lads can put in some good results and I can ride for them and yeah just just, just enjoy it more than anything else I think I think I did a Zwift Academy you know got quite far in that and I think it's if I'm honest I think it kind of took me a long time to get over that really um, both like mental physical like strain you put on yourself you know in terms of like, I mean I was eight kilogram worse than what I am now and you know I battle battled all of that and stuff so yeah just it bodes well in terms of like mental strength you know and Simon Holt is my coach and stuff as well as my DS so that 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 helps a lot you know kind of him you know like aiding me as well so yeah I look, look forward to the rest of the season there's a lot of pressure on today so <laughs> <laughs> well because of Tim's yeah, streak I mean, yeah I'm, I mean, he's never, they've never lost this race, have they? So I just had to, we had to deliver either one of us. So um, I'm just really glad we did. <laughs> and I got second before, so thank God I got one better. So yeah, it was a good, good day out. Is that the main emotion today? Just relief? Yeah. <laughs> Seeing Tim at the line being like, he was like, yeah, well done. I was like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. That's all I got. First reaction to, to winning that and having your name to a very illustrious list of the former winners. Yeah, 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 I'm super happy. Uh, just happy to deliver for the team, really. Um, like I said, there's a lot of pressure coming into this, coming into today, and just wanted to deliver for, for Tim and the team, really. So, yeah. Just talk us through that last, that last lap that you made. Yeah, that last lap we, we, we bridged, uh, me and the other guy bridged to Richardson. Uh, we, we, me and him were working really well. And then it was just in terms of like recovering and managing your effort after that. And then 
as soon as we turned off of the main course, I just went really, really hard, and, and that, I knew that was my time to go, so went solo from there. And, uh, and the final one, obviously, you've moved up to the top level of failure. Yeah. From your previous failure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how was this race compared to, to the other ones? Uh, it was very similar, to be honest. Like, yeah, it was. I mean, when we did that, there was there was a breakaway, so it was it was we worked better that year. You know, it's like I think there was like six of us straight from that first lap, so it was easier. But then the end of the race was exactly the same, really. You know, it was three of us that got away in the end, and then it was just a matter of just like playing your cards there. Uh, but I just had nothing that year, so luckily I had something this year. <laughs>